It's Red, and we are back today for some more of Life is Strange. So we're back at Chloe's house uh, after escaping um, the school and nearly getting caught. Uh, so we should be asleep. We are asleep. Okay. Chloe's bedroom is such a vibe, guys. It's so nice. Okay, so we're waking up after an eventful uh, evening. Very eventful evening. Ooh, take selfie. Okay. Always remember this moment. Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. Lovely. <laughs> I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I know that it is freezing okay. We have so we can get up. Then let's get up. Keep waving at the taxis. They keep turning. All right. Okay, I need to get dressed now. Need to get dressed now. Ooh, text from Warren. Uh, glad to see you didn't blow up Blackwell last night. Almost glad. By the way, the drive-in is actually popular, so I'm buying the tickets now. Uh, I'll let you take care of the popcorn. In other words, you can't back out now. Okay. All right, Warren. Okay, Warren. I think he's a little excited for the state with Max, which is adorbs. Oh, at least we haven't been identified yet. What? Arcadia Bay Police Department. Police log. K Bay 7. Ooh, so this is on the news. Uh, incident. Police and fire departments responded to a break in and vandalism on the Blackwell Academy campus around 1.30 a.m. Police have not stated if they have any suspects yet. Uh, incident, police arrested a nude man with a sword at Up All Night Donuts off Peckinpah Road at approximately 8.52 p.m. The unidentified man was charged with being under the influence of energy drinks and meth metamphetamines uh, he has been held without bail pending further investigation thank okay. god she's okay I uh, to visit her. blackwell student in stable condition blackwell academy to chloe price following a public suicide threat at blackwell academy kate marsh is reportedly in uh, a stable condition under supervision at arcadia bay med center so she is in the hospital Kate is in the hospital. Uh, a book. Chloe is so damn cute. She's really trying to suss out what my vision means. Ah, mystic weather. Supernatural science. 
Oh, a joint? Nice one, Chloe. I was such a wuss to cower in the closet while David hit her. We did the right thing, Max. We did the right thing. It would have been worse. Hold to another universe. Has Chloe been the one writing all of this graffiti? I swear we've seen that somewhere else before. We've seen that on, uh, I think we've seen that on campus. On campus, right? Around the school? We've seen it somewhere else, that's for sure. So it has to be Chloe, right? Uh, cell phone. I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. Can't compete with Rachel. Uh, it's the wallpaper. I mean, technically, I feel like we're still fresh. Freshly into Chloe's life, like we've just gotten back. So it kind of makes sense that she still hasn't replaced the photo. Plus, with Rachel Holy being shit balls. Frank unknown, is scary. it makes sense. I should have let Chloe take that money. Frank, Chloe, money. Now. I don't have your money yet. This is my last message. I swear Frank is like, he must be at least late 20s to either early 30s, mid 30s, because he looks rough and he looks very old. And Chloe's what, like 18, like Max? Uh, Frank might think twice about messing with Chloe now, but if David finds out, Shitstorm. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that it's just out on the, on the bedside table like that. It's a uh, little bait. I'm not going to lie. David apparently has a habit of coming in whenever he wants, uh, as we saw. I love so, this morning light. It's so peaceful. I don't know. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yes, no, yes, obviously. Yes, but... Sadly, we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. Did you have a boyfriend? Boys are trouble. Boys are trouble? Max, no way. So She would never say that. You never really told me if you had a serious boyfriend while I was away. Not serious. Hella stupid, usually. I went through a boy toy phase. Among other things. I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. That's why I was so glad Rachel came along to rescue me. Uh, you crushed on Rachel. Was Rachel that popular? You crushed on Rachel? Sounds like you totally crushed on Rachel. Mm. You were too. Smart, sexy, and sassy. Like me, right? Well, duh. <laughs> sure. Maybe Rachel would have thought of sure. both of Sure. You wish. Then again, maybe. You're a photographer, and she wanted to be a model. Okay. Uh, I'd rather have a life of oh wells than a life of what ifs. I swear we've read that somewhere before as well. Is Chloe the one behind all of the graffiti that is on the campus? Because <laughs> I swear everything in this room is everywhere in the campus. Um, open. Wow, I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. I'm really liking the snazzy stickers. Uh, and I love how like everyone seems to have at least one spare old phone that they have somewhere in their house, you know? Like for some reason we can't just bring ourselves to just throw out the phone that we are never going to use again. Wow, sir. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. 10th birthday. Wow. They look very different. Very different. Um, little self-portrait there of Chloe. That's a cute little uh, bit of artwork. Uh, okay, so I think that's pretty much it, right? Yeah, that's pretty much it. So I will get dressed. Ugh. Ugh. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Oh, well thank you very much. I don't mind the smell of chlorine, to be honest with you guys. I quite I kind of like it. It's a clean smell. Okay. Time for some Chloe cosplay. 
Hey, there you go. Chloe cosplay. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. Fair enough. You Fair point. Always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. <gasps> kiss Chloe. Or don't kiss Chloe. Okay. So, is this Chloe's little way of, like, trying to make a move without making a move? Although I'm flattered, Chloe. Uh, I'm sure Max is flattered. Uh, I think it's best that we decline. Sorry, not that easy. Oh, like I am? Just admit that you already macked on me, then used your rewind. <laughs> now I can text Warren that you're saving sure. yourself all for him. I'm so going to best unfriend you for that. Yep. I love that uh. Chloe is so fearless. Mmm. Wow. Yeah. I... Uh, I'm starting to think that... Maybe Max can... Maybe they can get together, right? But I just... I think they're just better off as friends. You know? I think it's just better. We do want to mess up a good friendship with those two. Plus, Max and Warren is really what we're trying to do, so. Sorry, Chloe. Looking oh, yeah, sick, Max. check it out. A tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready mm. for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra. Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? I promise not to tell. Sh Chloe literally just smokes in her room, guys. I mean, look at this. It's a it's an ashtray and a joint. They're smelling this not only from downstairs, but from next door. Okay, so I feel like Joyce doesn't need to be told that Chloe's smoking joints in her room. I'm sure Joyce can smell it, you know? Oh my god. That oh. smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. Okay. Um, so we got a text from Kate. Okay. Max. Thank you from my heart for reaching out to me on the roof. You you are the only one who was there for me at school, the only one who truly cared. I have to believe you were sent to give me hope. You did so much more than that. My father is grateful as well. You'll always be in our prayers. Love and blessings, your friend, Kate. Max replied, hey Kate, I'm so glad you're okay. I will visit you as soon as I can, I promise. Wow. Guys, that's so heartbreaking. Oh, but I'm so happy I went back and saved her because that was awful. Oh, little birdie. No way. Little birdie. That's the bluebird I saved Monday in Joyce's room. And it's still here as a new pet, maybe? Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> Serious flashback. <laughs> uh, okay, faucet. Feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine. And hiding. Okay, brush teeth. What's ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. Oh, <laughs> We're using Chloe's toothbrush. Uh, I guess we are. Lovely. Have you guys ever used someone else's toothbrush? I haven't personally. Uh, I don't know if I ever would. You know, I haven't gone through a dyeing my hair blue phase yet. 
Maybe it's time. Oh, I don't know, Max. I don't know if Max would suit blue hair. She looks good brunette, you know? Natural. She's got a cute little hairstyle as well. It's very unique. It's very Maxine-like, you know, if that makes sense. Ooh, photo. Nice. Um. Okay, post uh, door. I better not go in there. David might be in bed. Ew. Ew. <laughs> okay. For everybody else in the neighborhood, it's just another morning. Yep. Maybe we should go downstairs now. Yeah. Go downstairs and have some breakfast. There's Joyce. I feel like Joyce looks like a Joyce, you know? She looks like a Joyce. Acts like a Joyce. I feel like has a job that a Joyce would have, you know? <laughs> she works in a diner. And I mean that in the best way possible. Answering machine. David, this is Officer Corn. Just want to let you know, your stepdaughter's car was identified near the Blackwell campus last night, around the time of the break-in. What? Give me a call soon. <sighs> Are you in trouble again, Chloe? Don't you sleep? Oh, so that's why there's an erase button. Guys, should I rewind it and erase the message? Maybe I should do that. I'm gonna do that. I'm so erasing this message. Erased. Message deleted. Goodbye, message. I think Chloe has earned a break from all this bullshit. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Max. Uh... I have a feeling they're probably gonna find out anyway. You know, they might call back again and be like, David, you still haven't called me back. And then it's gonna be like, oh, where did the, where did the message go? Who deleted it? And then it's gonna be a, a well, maybe Max did because she was here. Wow, Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. I just, at, at least we can have one good morning, you know? Just give her a break. Just give Chloe a break. Uh, okay. What is this? Newspaper? Oh, man. I don't want to be famous for this. The Independent Flash Snow and Freak Eclipse. Apocalypse soon? <laughs> and then Super Heroine? Hev he hero heroine? Heroine? I never know how to say that word. Saves Suicidal Blackwell student. Oh, so she made it to the newspaper? Yes. Uh, a bottle. Who drinks beer this early around here? Mmm, I don't know. Maybe a certain someone possibly called uh, David? Mm, wouldn't be too surprised. Okay. Oh, birds. Three dead birds lined up? That's fucking ominous. That is pretty ominous. More beer bottles. Okay. Um, a swing. I don't know if sitting is really what I want. Another birdie? I wonder how these birds died. Maybe it's the weather. Hmm. Maybe it's the sign of things to come. Um, another bird. Oh, dead bird. Poor thing. Okay, I'm starting to think maybe it was good that we saved the bird. Um, maybe? I mean, I, don't, I doubt it's going to make much difference to... Uh, the outcome, but um, maybe we would have found it dead by now had we not have saved it. 
So. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so I think that's pretty much it. So maybe we should go and speak to Joyce. Hi, Joyce. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Oh, I, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Uh, pancakes or eggs and bacon? I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need some eggs and bacon. Eggs and bacon all the way. All I remember the when you way. Guys would sleep in until I yelled out, "Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey!" Totally. <laughs> We'd wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. Okay. I can handle eggs and bacon. Eggs and bacon. Um. Okay. Eggs and bacon. I should evolve and she become a it? vegan, but huh, bacon. Okay, so we got the bacon. Did I love we get that the eggs? they still have the same refrigerator. Ooh! I, I keep expecting the to see the sky turn red. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute! How we can just open the window. For no reason other than to just open the window. Eggs? Oh, jeez. Can you help me get this bird out of here? Wait, what? What bird? Come on, Max. Find those ingredients so we can chow down. Where's the bird? Joyce! What bird? Where is it? I can't even see it. It's not... I didn't think it was around here, was it? Um, yeah, I cannot see the bird for the life of me, so I have no idea where it is for me to get rid of it. But the eggs are just over here, which is weird. Oh, it's because it's with the shopping. But she didn't pack away, Joyce. The eggs Chloe... always come first, as Joyce used to say. Chloe should really help with that. I'm just saying, Chloe. I'm just saying. <sighs> One bag of shopping, surely she could have packed it away. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that's it. Thanks. You're After welcome. all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in LA. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Um, is Rachel okay? Rachel in trouble? Was Rachel mad at Chloe? Was Rachel in trouble? I hate to even think this, much less say it out loud, but I think Rachel is in serious trouble. I know. I watch those awful true crime shows, and it makes me ill if I think about Rachel ending up on one. So I don't think too much. I see why Chloe is so obsessed with finding her. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Jealous of Rachel? Uh, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. What? <laughs> no way. I know I was selfish when I left. I'm glad Chloe found a better friend. No, just a different one. Last time I saw you and Chloe in your pirate outfits, I knew she would never find a better friend. I just wish you could have stopped Chloe from getting busted by David for that joint. I know, but it seems like Chloe and me were pirates a thousand years ago. Did you really that just makes put that on me? me? What, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, you. <sighs> Only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. As if. Not only has Joyce just blamed me for David finding out about the joint, but Chloe's gave me a comment about that. Like, I'm just like, I'm... I can't believe Max is getting blamed for that. It's crazy. 
<laughs> it would have been so what I feel like it would have been way worse. It would have. I regret nothing. We did the right thing. So I'll have my eggs and bacon now. Ooh, Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. Okay. <laughs> uh, ooh, eggs and bakey. Okay, plant. I guess nobody waters the plant here. I guess not. And that's the newspaper. Peanut butter. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Okay, I should probably eat then? Or do I wait? Maybe I just eat. I'll just eat. <laughs> I guess I'm the only one having breakfast. Just awkwardly by myself at, at the table. Seeing you again, ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this and... and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Hmm. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please, <laughs> it's too early to start picking a fight. Eat yeah, instead. Chloe. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. <sighs> no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I okay, do so need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. <clears throat> so Chloe came in basically with a distraction so that we can sneak around in the garage and have a look at what David's hiding. Because I'm so sure that there is something in here. I can smell it. I can smell the weirdness, the creepiness of something going on in here. Look at the laptop. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. <laughs> step douche, yeah, that's the password. The password is step douche. Uh, that would have been pretty funny if it was. Wow. That's a really nice photo, surprisingly. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Okay. Happy sweet 18. Chloe, I'm so happy you were born today. Thanks for bringing me into the family. Love, stepdad. That's actually really sweet. Greetings from Arcadia Bay. So this is a postcard or something? Or just a card. I don't know. Uh, okay. Uh, cupboard. Nothing to see here. There's the corned beef. Maybe it's corned beef, the password. Corned beef. Pretty genius password. 
Right? No? Maybe not? Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Sun visor? Such. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. Uh, it was an honor having you in the diner. Nice to know that gentlemen still exist. Love to talk again with you soon. By the way, the name is Joyce, if you forgot. Smiley face. So, I'm guessing this is how they met, which is might pretty be sweet. A password. Pretty cute. Joyce was working in the diner. He came in for eggs and sausage and toast and coffee. And she left a note. Okay. Also a possible password. You know what? I'm leaning towards this. I feel like this has to be it. it I feel like... Yeah. Yeah. Bag? What's this? That's cute. Could be a password here. To a real life hero. 607 Survey Company. Okay. A knife? Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. To my field, angel, keep your wings up. Um, okay, so let me just... So what can the password be? Joyce might as well have wrote it might be a useful password. Is it... I don't know. Um, 27.08, or it could be the prices. I don't know. Maybe, is it a number password? I don't know. Tape? Obviously, David's parents care about him. That Video date message might be a good password. From mum and dad. Oh my god, guys. Oh, it could be so many Looks things. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Coming back home, a veteran's guide. Mm. He must have had this for a while. It's worn and torn. Okay, let's try... Uh, army, family, stepdad, 07, 2007. Such so wrong. Wrong. Damn it, quit. Okay. So yeah, that one, that was the tape that we just tried. Uh, let's try... This, the dates that they met. Score! Joyce and... Max the Hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? What? Rachel has been cutting class all week? Question mark, question mark. Frank and Rachel meet once again. Oh, there's, there's a photo. Why is David so creepy? Ah! Oh! Arcadia Bay Police Report. Uh, name of arrestee, Rachel Amber. She was arrested. Crimes alleged, redacted. Uh, uh, okay, incident report. Rachel Amber, 18, was picked up at 2.35 p.m. at Blackwell Academy for possession of a controlled substance. This was reported by David Madsen. Wow, David. Head of campus security who witnessed her trying to hide or secure a suspicious medical bag. This officer was called into question, Miss Amber, who responded with threats and denials. Really? Threats? Her bag was found to contain various illegal pharmaceuticals. Uh, Rachel avoids her dormitory, followed Rachel to Lighthouse. What? What's that little bit? Rachel avoids her dormitory and followed Rachel to Lighthouse. Why did she go to the Lighthouse? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. Oh my god, you can see the tabs. Rachel Amber profile, Kate Marsh profile. Kate M follows same path to every class. Overheard Kate and Dana talking about supplies for Vortex Club Party. Drugs? Watched Kate with her church group. She knows her Bible. 
Kate stays in bathroom longer than other students. Drugs? Saw Kate helping Jefferson after class. Don't trust grown men with goatees. <laughs> I can agree with you there, David. Uh, for once, we actually agree on something. Goatees? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kate has kept herself... Um, has kept to herself since Vortex Club Party. Not even church. Drugs? <laughs> Tried to talk to Kate about the party. She got upset and ran. Guilty. Okay. David? <sighs> yeah, David needs another hobby. Um, so basically, after the Vortex Club party, she stopped going to church. Okay. This is That's... so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. Are you kidding me? Max Caulfield profile. Max online aliases. Mad Max slash Max Factor slash Noir Angel. Max's class schedule. Oh my god. 2013 to 2014. Oh, that seems like centuries ago. Okay. Oh, this is so freaky. Okay, so these are basically like I mean, they're profiles, so they're like files. So he's literally, he is literally keeping tabs on Max, on Kate, on Rachel. I haven't seen one for Nathan, though. And I feel like, mm, of all the people, and you don't have one on Nathan. I better tell Chloe about this now. Oh, it's Crazy. just one more thing to make her sad and mad. Okay, look. Oh, it's a padlock. Okay. Uh, what well, I'm thinking... Because it's not locked anymore. That I should rewind it. Right? Now it's locked. Yeah. Because I don't want... Uh, I don't want people to find out that I've been here snooping. You know? So it's better safe than sorry. Um, okay, let's go. Wow, wow, David. Okay. Chloe, we need to talk. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for <clears throat> sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Ooh. Leave Max alone, David. Stop Ooh. threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody, like he spies <sighs> on all of us here. Don't start, <laughs> Chloe. Not now. <gasps> yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not. Now, Chloe. You Don't you dare, David. Out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Yeah, David. Wait, what? Side with David? Or side with Chloe? Is this even an option? Really? Really? Of course I'm gonna side with Chloe. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. Tell him, you Max. You could have totally helped her. Tell Everybody him, Max. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. Exactly. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even hit your stepdaughter. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Chloe was doing drugs. That's illegal. So is what, spying on people in your family really? at your work. 
Why do you have photos of Kate, Marsh, and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm punks. down. Oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You Ooh. can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, that was a long time coming, guys. Oh, we just nailed him to the cross. I can speak to him? Oh my gosh. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. I've hurt... Max has... Wow. The... Audacity of that man. Oh. Can I speak to Joyce? Oh, should I? Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? Oh, bless her. I, you know what? I'm really proud of Joyce. I, would, I was not expecting that. I, I thought Joyce was going to take David's side. Above all. Because that's how it seemed across, like prior, that he would, she would be taking his side, but she didn't. And yeah, Joyce is cool for that. Okay, should we go? Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. Oh, don't you worry. Don't you worry, darling. We are leaving.